Hello, and in this video we're talking about small angle approximations uh, which you have to do in radians. And this is for sine, cos, and tan. Uh, if you've got sine theta, uh, cos theta, and tan theta, and theta is small, so it has to be really close to zero, and it has to be um, in radians, then you can approximate it. You can say that these are um, very close to, and for sine and tan, they're really easy because uh, they're just exactly the same as the angle itself. So if you look here, we've got a picture of uh, sine, y equals sine of theta, and then we've got y equals theta drawn as uh, a linear, just so as, the, as the angle gets bigger, y gets bigger. And you can see for this period here, it's not bad. It's pretty pretty close to being true. And then obviously, if you go too high, it sort of as sine bends round and bends back, it comes away from that line. But you've got quite a long stretch in the middle there where it's true. Now this is you know quite an idealized graph. It's not zoomed in very much. So really, you haven't got such a huge sweeping range that you can do that. This is really only for when the angle is very very small itself. Um, you can also look for, for tan, that we have the same thing, because it kind of comes up and swoops through, uh, that you get this little section in the middle where the straight line is not bad at describing it. So tan theta also simplifies nicely just to the angle itself. But cos is a bit different, because it, you know, at, the, at the small angle bit, it's, it's going as a maximum, it's turning around. So this one is the, the weird one that's approximately equal to 1 minus theta squared over 2. Now, there's not much time that you'll use this unless uh, in the question it's, it prompts you uh, to say, well, actually, uh, this, this angle is very small. Uh, it might be that they want you to simplify something, you know, rearrange some trigonometry, uh, and they say, oh, by the way, theta is really small, very close to zero. And that should then go ping, and you you know, you get stuck, you can't cancel it down, and then you think, ah, but they told me it's really small, and I'm working in radians, that's important. So I can just, you know, replace the sine theta with just theta, and now it'll cancel down, and I'll get what I'm looking for. So this is something that you do need to remember if you're going to do your uh, A-level exams, then this is something that you'll need to have in your mind. So here's a question to run through as an example. Uh, we've got uh, a small theta is given when it's small. Show that this expression can be written like this. So if you remember, sine theta is going to give us a theta. Tan theta, not that we've got any tans, is going to approximate to theta. And cos theta is the funny one, which is 1 minus theta squared over 2. Now, when it has a number in it as well, we're going to have that number uh, in, in these formulae. So, uh, yes, yeah, so if we put a 3 on there, we just put a 3 on there. Um, so, let's write out what we've got. Uh, and that is 4 times cos 3 theta. So, we need to put that in a bracket and have this in, so 1 minus, and it's 3 theta, but that's all squared over 2, minus 2, and then plus 5 times sine theta, well that's just theta, so 5 theta, and it's all divided by 1 minus, and sine of 2 theta, if sine of theta is theta, then that's just going to be 2 theta. Uh, so now it's just a case of trying to mush this about uh, and get what we want. So let's start with this bracket. This is the most horrible bit. So 3 squared is 9 theta. Uh, 9 theta over 2. Uh, and then we've got 1 minus uh, that. And then we're going to times it by 4. So I think what we'll do is if we expand the bracket first, it'll make this, uh, this fraction uh, not seem quite as bad. So 4 times 1 is 4, minus 3 squared theta squared, but we're timesing by 4, so that's 12 theta, no it's not, because it's a 9. 3 squared is 9, 9 times 4, 
36 theta squared over 2. And of course, we can cancel the 36 over 2 and have 18. So 4 minus 18 theta squared minus 2 plus 5 theta all over uh, 1 minus 2 theta. So I'm hoping that it's going to do some cancelling uh, if we've got this as, it's kind of like a quadratic, isn't it? 4 take away 2, uh, we can get rid of that and we can have 2. And then we need to factorise this. Uh, we've got this minus 18 and we've got uh, plus 5 and 2. And for sake of ease, I'm going to use the calculator. Sorry, wrong button. Menu A, polynomial, degree 2. Uh, and we've got, uh, let's have a look, we've got minus 18 as the x squared, 5 and 2, and so we get the answer of a half, a minus 2 over 9. So that's going to give us double bracket, and uh, we're going to want to have uh, the thetas over here, and the minus 2 over 9 is going to give us a positive 2 with a 9 in front, and the, not that, and the other answer was a half, so that's going to give us minus 1 with a 2 in front. Now I appreciate that doesn't give us the minus, we're going to have to have a minus on one of these uh, uh, might um, yes so we need to we need to times this all by uh, minus one I think because if we do it the way I've I've just put the numbers in I'm gonna get positive 18 I want minus I'm gonna get uh, minus 9 plus 4 is minus 5 and I'm gonna get minus 2 so I need to times this whole thing by minus 1 in order to fix all the minus signs. And if I times the whole thing by minus 1, I could just times one of the brackets by minus 1. And you know what? Because I can see this, 1 minus 2 theta, I'm going to times this one by minus 1 so that I can uh, so I can do some cancelling. So if I times that by minus 1, the minus 1 becomes plus 1, and the plus 2 theta becomes minus 2 theta. And that's over 1 minus 2 theta. And oh look, cancel, cancel, and we're left with 9 theta plus 2 which is what we wanted. So hence write down the value of this. The fact it says write down means it should be really easy. Well, if theta is really small, like really small, then 9 times something really small is, is equally really, really small. We're not interested in that. So 9 theta plus 2, as that gets smaller and smaller and smaller, it just fades away to nothing. And uh, so as x tends to 0, then the answer of this is tending to the value 2. So that is how you use a small angle approximation when you're in radians to uh, simplify down equations and find the uh, limit of a solution as an angle gets very, very small uh, and what that equation would be. If you have any questions, you can put them in the comments. But for now, cheerio.